Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to film a tutorial on this look since it was super requested due to my last video. So if you want to learn how to achieve this smoky, sexy glam, then please keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face with this Jouer Anti-Aging Moisture Primer. For foundation, of course, I'm going in with my Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Nude, and then I'm buffing that out with my Morphe M439. Of course, you guessed it for concealer, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape and then I'm blending that out with my Sigma 3D HD Blender. After that, I quickly set my face with my Airspun Translucent Powder and here I'm just dusting everything away. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with Peach Smoothie as my transition shade using my Morphe M441. Next, I'm going in with Zora by Makeup Geek using the same Morphe brush. To add more depth to the look, I'm going in with Coco Bear, also by Makeup Geek, with the Luxie 235 blending brush. The reason why we're layering so many colors is that way when we add the black, it doesn't look so harsh. Because if you were just to add a transition shade and then the black, we wouldn't have that gradient effect we're looking for. Now going in with Corrupt, we're going to begin to create that halo effect, adding the shadow to the inner and outer corner of the lid, and then dragging that across the lid with windshield wiper motions. And all you're going to want to do is add a little bit of black, don't go in with a lot because it's super hard to take away instead of adding product. So I say just go in with a little bit, buff it out, and then keep adding it until you're satisfied. For the bottom portion of my lid, I'm just going in with Zora and Corrupt and buffing those colors together. Here I'm just adding a white shadow primer by LA Girl, that way the colors stand out a bit more. And then with the flat shader brush, I am going in with Legend and I'm applying that all over the center of the lid. On top of that, I'm adding Artemis by Make a Geek from the Manny Android palette just so the color could look a bit more vibrant. Here, as you can tell, I already added some falsies. I will have the name of them on the screen. And I'm also adding some black eyeliner to my waterline. And then I'm going to smudge it down. That way it looks more dramatic. Now going back to the face, I already added bronzer and blush because they're the same products as always. So I skipped it to the highlighting part, which is my favorite part. Here I'm just using Oh Darling by MAC. It did discontinue, but they're bringing it back with another highlighter, which I'm super, super excited about.
For lips, you guys know I've been obsessing over this lipstick by Dose of Colors in the shade Posey. And then I'm cleaning up the edges with a lip pencil by My Vanity Planet. To set everything in place, I'm using my Slay All Day Setting Spray by Gerald Cosmetics in the scent Peach. To finish off the look, you can never have enough highlights, so I'm going in with Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. So that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think of the look. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!